All right. Here we go with here we go with the amateur. All right, we're going to trot. Walk. You notice that time she made sure she broke down to the walk. Wasn't quite as smooth as the first time she did it. But it was better than the second time when she broke gate. All right, she went past the comb. Now you notice she left herself enough room on the inside, but she's now she's shortened her trot up on this end. So it may not deduct here, but after she backs her eight strides here, makes her 90, now is where her working so far off of that cone will tell on her. All right. Hey, go back, go back to your backup position. Just about where you finished your backup. And just give me a one and a quarter right there. Or just start your back up again and just back up for me. Sorry, I was talking. I missed the not the one and a quarter a minute ago. And then. <clears throat> All right, she's backing up. She's left shoulder, left shoulder. Okay, now we're going to turn one and a quarter. All right, but you notice what I was telling you. Her cheating the cones this direction, this is where it's going to tell on her is on the back side of this pattern right here. Okay, she's going to trot. I'd like to see her pick that pace up and go. Push, push, push. She's got a straight line. Good. All right. If she works too far off of that cone over there, it's going to shorten this trot distance up considerably. That worked out pretty good. All right, now set up again. Pretty square, right? Everybody see that? Her movements are good. She's stepping. Feet are together. See her steps? They're quick. They're precise. Very businesslike. Not, not floundering. Turn and trot out. Okay. All right. She started out on the offside, it's good. All right, you see that right there? You see that little bit of trot? When she broke down to the walk, there's your break of gate. It just has to be that much. She's walking, a couple trot steps, and you're caught. She probably didn't go past the cone as much as I would have liked her to, but it, she was far enough away that the cone's not coming in play. Two things I want you to think about. If the pattern's set up the day you're showing and it looks like she's close to the cones here, you're not gonna be able to cheat it off the cones as much because it's gonna cut down on your square corner and getting to her, okay? If that's the case, you may have to go closer to the cones but go past the cones, all right? So that's something you're gonna have to decide when the judges set it up. I'll try to talk them into giving you more room on this way, but we'll see. Same thing, feet together, nice turn. And a good trot out. All right, right about there, we're, we're done. So you see where she started? She started on the other side. Can I get you to back up just a little bit? Can you back up just a little bit? Just a little bit, that's good. The pattern will be laid out plenty big for you to do your Okay, for me, you know, I would like to see a little more push at the extended walk, all right? It wasn't bad, but I want to see a little more purpose in your extended walk. That's a good walk, but I want to see a little, I want to see a step up. For me to really get in there and get you plus twos, plus threes, you got to walk. I want to see somebody ready to show, ready to walk. Now. That's a little better. She got a little better coming up to the judge. All right, as she gets here, she stops. She's straight in line. Look at her setup. That's another thing people don't understand. Your setup will give you points. If you will set your horse up correctly, it will give you points. But you can also lose it by being, trying to set up too fast and not having a good setup. If it's a nice, good square setup, get your plus points out of that. 